Hello my fragrant friends. Today I just wanted to start off by showing you what I have to work with this year. Right here in front of my house. Just wanted to walk around and show you what exciting projects I have to complete. Try and fail. Here we go. This is a part of my front lawn. You'll see certain areas are dried out and need to be replaced and fixed. And of course, I don't want to pay for that. I want to do it myself. See how I could ruin this even further. Then over here, I have my front tree. It has a few patches that need to be worked on. Mostly. I have this lovely mess. Failed containers, dead plants, these shrubs that quite frankly I hate. I know they attract a lot of um, bees and stuff, but that's not what I want. They're invasive, ugly, don't want them. Some other dead plants, just a general dry spot. I also notice that the bricks around here aren't perfectly round. Kind of always been a little um, annoyancy for me. So I'm going to try and fix that, make it nice, perfectly round. So I, whatever I put in it fits evenly. This side right here, you can tell uh, that far out. This is that side over there, is way out that way. So we're going to mend it. You can see how the bricks just go nice in a round path right here and then fall off right, where is it? Right here. It's like not even connected. They don't even want to connect. They don't want to be friends anymore. You gotta fix that. Then of course my sunflowers are no longer sunny and flower. Gotta fix this area. Nice section of black tarp here that I've been trying to control stuff with. Not happening, not working. Gotta deal with it. And uh, here we arrive at my signature death zone. All of my beautiful herbs are just dry and perished. Poor babies. I'll try again next year. In my backyard, I have these containers that, once again, perished. Um, the soil in these are, are, it's not good. So I'm going to have to redo these, reset them, replace this little fence that keeps my doggies out. This is the full extent of what I have to do. It's about 12 feet-ish. But that's all I have in my backyard. Everything else is mainly front yard. Ooh, here's something that is growing. Got my aloe vera here. It's doing great. Let's focus that one. Nope. Let's go this way. Perfect. And I got a few of these. Here's my other one. Here's my third one. Now you might be wondering what's up with this rosemary here. That one's peering through the neighbor's yard, so I cannot claim any success to this, except for when I need some rosemary for my chicken dinners, I've got plenty. Thank you, neighbors. Also what I have in my backyard is this giant chunk of grass here. I'm not gonna really work on it. We had weeds here that we had to kill off all the grass and it's slowly coming back on its own. I don't think there's that many weeds getting stuck onto my dog's fur anymore. Although I am going to give another check and trying to kill off whatever's sticking to her. She had those little tumbleweed things. They really suck. But I'm not going to work on this yet. Another thing I do have in my backyard that is growing wonderfully, although I don't maintain it, is this giant honeysuckle bush. Once again, I cannot take credit for this. It was already here when we moved in five, five years ago. Anyway, 
It's doing great. I don't touch it, cause then I'll kill it. Okay, on the inside, just want to show you two areas that might be mentioned a lot. This area, my indoor plants. Um, these are some outside plants that are indoor right now, and this is my large south-facing window. This comes in handy during the winter. Like I said, it'll be mentioned a lot. Just wanted to show it off a little so you can know what I'm talking about and what's going on here. And this is my north facing window. My bathroom, some plants, and there is the giant window. Closed, but still. This is the other area inside that will be mentioned a lot. I'll explain as I go along, but just want to let you know for reference points. Okay, my fragrant friends, just wanted to give you a quick layout of what's going to be happening. Um, there's definitely more to come. I hope you enjoy this quick overview, and I'll see you again soon. Have a flowerful day. Goodbye.